Hi everyone, thanks for liking, referring and sharing these videos and commenting upon these videos. I'm getting good response from you. So keep posting your comments and if you want any particular video, you can just request for that. Entropy change for isothermal process, again, very important topic here. And entropy change is delta S as we know. And for isothermal process, when you try to apply, we have to see first what is the speciality of isothermal process. So isothermal, as the name suggests, that there is no change in the temperature condition as in T2 is equal to T1 or T final is equal to T initial. That you have to keep in mind. Isothermal means is that. So if that is the scenario, can we say we can talk about the basic delta S value which is NCV ln T2 by T1 plus NR ln V2 by V1. And I hope you refer this derivation which I have covered in another video. So in this derivation, what can be done? Let us see once again, if you want to revise, we can say delta S is integral dQ upon T and dQ is du plus P dV upon T. And if you put the values, du is CV dT plus P dV upon T. And if you put everything in integration and put the limits here, T1 to T2, CV dT upon T will become CV ln T2 by T1. And the other part, P dV upon T, assuming ideal gas conditions, P is equal to RT by V, okay, T gets cancelled and becomes dV upon V. So, R dV upon V will result into R ln V2 by V1. If you have N moles, all these values will be multiplied by N. Hence, our answer will come up as this. So, you can revise this. Now, if you are solving any isothermal question, you know that this T1 and T2 are equal. So, the first term will definitely be 0. And how much is delta is coming up? Your answer would be NR ln V2 by V1. Just look back and check when you solve the value of work done for isothermal cases, you got the answer W is minus NRT ln V2 by V1 and Q was NRT ln V2 by V1. So if you observe Q divided by T, if you do, it is NR ln V2 upon V1, which is same number which is written here. So these two numbers will match as if delta S is Q by T is given to us, right? So this is the simple way with which we can learn any isothermal questions if they give volume becomes 10 times. So we say ln of 10 into nr is our entropy change and this is for reversible case. So what about irreversible cases? What will be the delta S system? So for irreversible case again the CV ln T2 by T1 term is anyway so be 0 here and we will think about nr ln V2 by V1 but to solve V2 by V1 we need help of this result where delta U is Q plus W delta u itself is equal to 0 and work done will be equal to minus p external v2 minus v1. So, we can take help of this and we can calculate the value of q because this is equal to minus q. So once you have this, you can always talk about the entropy change for those cases also. So, we will pick up certain questions where we deal with numerically with these cases but I hope you understood this and if it is a case of free expansion keep the work done 0 keep delta u 0 q will be 0 and definitely you can comment about delta system based on q 0. So I hope you understood this video please keep liking subscribing and sharing this thank you.